Good afternoon everybody, Colin here with AirAppReviews.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use G key macros on a Logitech keyboard to use TeamSpeak. So normally you would have to set a hotkey in TeamSpeak if you want to use push to talk. Um, and normally it would be a key that's already assigned to something like in a game or something like that. So to make it a little bit easier, you can install a profile in TeamSpeak. If you go, um, if you open up TeamSpeak right here, go to Tools, Options, and then you can see right here, I have my G5 key under macro one. Let's see, so if we edit that. So if we're on macro two and we assign it, it'll do it under macro two. Um, I'm actually gonna leave it on that because I just figured that out that you can change the macro. So I have three macro profiles, M1, M2, and M3. Those are the buttons on the keyboard. So under M2, when we have uh, TeamSpeak open, the profile is already installed on TeamSpeak, which shows up in Logitech gaming software. So I'm just gonna connect to a channel real quick. I'm gonna use this one Connected. right here. Um, just gonna go down channel here. Switched. So now when I hit G5, let's see if I'm on macro one and I hit G5, you can see the little dots not lighting up showing I'm talking. I switch it to M2 and I push it and you can see that I'm push to talk is working. So how you install this is, let's see, I'm just gonna disconnect from that real quick. You go to tools, options, add-ons right here you see the G key plugin so if you go to browse online um, there's a bunch of different ones you can use but you're just gonna want to type in Logitech and it's the G key plugin right here so I already have it installed um, so once you install that um, I would recommend restarting TeamSpeak just close it and open it again open up your Logitech gaming software and under your G keys down here you can see since TeamSpeak is open if I close TeamSpeak It'll just be the default profile. So if I, if I close that and reopen it, you'll have your default profile. But when you open TeamSpeak, it's going to automatically switch over to that. It won't show it in the app while it's open, but it'll it'll switch over to that. Um, I don't know if it'll do it right here. Yeah. So when the app is open, macro two is going to be these keys right here. You can change the macros to over here too. It'll, it won't do anything. Um, but so you have G1 through 5 and 6 through 9 to use in TeamSpeak. So whatever macro setting you have on your keyboard on, it will show in TeamSpeak. So like if I go here, hotkeys, and I go to assign a hotkey, since I'm on G2, when I push M5, you can see G5 on macro set 2, macro profile 2, is what it's going to use. If I change to macro 1 and go to do it, it'll show it on 1. So you can still use your different macros. Um, if you open up TeamSpeak and you're on macro one, it's not gonna do anything. If you have macro two assigned, which I'm gonna use macro set two. So like I said, I can go over to one, hit, hit push to talk, and it's not gonna do anything. So that's how you install that. That'll automatically show up when you have it installed. If it doesn't, you just go to your uh, scan for games here, let it do a scan. It doesn't always show up right here, but like I said, it will come up up here once you install the add-on in TeamSpeak. So you can have all these G keys right here and then you can still have your default keys on something like macro one. And then you can have these over on macro two. So that's how to use your G keys with TeamSpeak without having to actually use a keyboard command like control or Z or you know a letter or something like that that might interfere with your game. This has been Colin with AppReviews.com. If you have any questions about installing this, just go ahead and comment below and I will definitely try to help you best I can.